He puts his left hand under his shirt, grips his belly proper tight. He feels like the butterflies in his stomach have squatter's rights. He's stuck, finds it hard to move, clutching a glass of juice. He drops his shoulders, he wants to stop going over things, over and over and over and over. She sees him in the corner. He's a classic wallflower. He's been there static for close to an hour. And a voice in his head, let's call him Sharky. Sharky's like, you should go home. Either way, you'd be on your own. You can stand in the corner there too, but at least you get to choose the music. But then another voice in his head, let's call him George. George is all like, then why did you come? You obviously want to talk to someone. There's people here, go chat. Sharky's like, you don't want to do that. <laughs> you're awkward. And you're even more awkward when you try to force small talk and then you realise you're being awkward, which means you start to talk words more and more worse. And it's starting to hurt, so then you pause because you don't want to talk anymore, but then you think you should finish what you said because it's polite and correct. And then you realise that you're starting to sweat and you're fretting over how you're sweating and you're checking you're checking if you're getting sweat patches and it's all happening in the same action and you're just getting hit in the head with an onslaught of thoughts and then you're not even talking anymore and now it just sounds just about crawling out from inside your mouth George is like, don't, don't listen to him <laughs> Sharky's like, fuck you. George is like, I'm not stooping to your level. Sharky's like, yeah, because you're a dickhead. George is like, you're a dickhead. He says, fucking stop. She says, what? He says, what? She says, did you say something? He says, no, did you hear something? She says, I thought I did. He says, sorry. She says, why? He says, I don't know. Sorry, shit. She laughs. He says, are you laughing with me or at me? She says, you weren't laughing. He says, I am on the inside. If I didn't laugh, I would cry. He thinks, oh my god, did that just come out of my god? Sharky's like, stop. It'll only worsen and you know it. George is like, you're talking to a person. Keep going. They keep talking for a year. He's on her sofa. She broke up with her guy. She cries on his shoulder, he don't know why. He thinks his shoulder is bony and must be pretty uncomfortable, but it's fine. She don't mind. He thinks maybe his shoulder and her head fit. She sings, Que sera, sera. He thinks, Inshallah. <laughs> She's into Karl Marx. He's into Harpo. She got away with words. He's more staccato, domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. He finds opening up scary. She's an Aries. <laughs> yeah. She broke up with another guy. She cries on his shoulder, he don't know why. He don't think he's a good consoler, but he don't mind because you got a friend and all that. <laughs> She says, why do I always fall for the bad boys? He's like, maybe you don't have a choice. I don't know, maybe it's like star signs or something. She says, do you believe in star signs? He says, no. She writes blogs. He fills in spreadsheets. She tattooed love on her wrist in Sanskrit. 
He types love on the screen in sans serif. <laughs> Presses backspace. He used to look for answers in Quran. She used to look for answers in Corona. She want balcony scene in Verona. That feeling on repeat. She don't eat meat. He don't need love. That's what he tells himself. Film night. She's picked the prophet. They sit and watch it. She rests her head against his shoulder and he looks over. Everything stops. He's lost his breath. Weird feeling in his chest. His belly. His head. He feels like he's floating. No gravity. He gets his breath back and he thinks what you call that. A moment of clarity. Or epiphany. Something's happened. It's like I'm feeling everything differently. George is like... You in love with her? Sharky's like, you don't believe in love. George is like, you love her? Sharky's like, nah, 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 not true. George is like, you do, you do, you really, really do. Sharky's like, it will pass. It's a phase. He feels as if the butterflies in his stomachs are having in his stomach are having a house party raving away to a drum and bass heartbeat an all nighter it goes on for 6 months and 15 days he thinks how long is a phase this ain't love it's lust it's just fuck love is a serious mental disease that's what Plato said I get Play-Doh legs when she's next to me but no open sesame, leave it in the cave. I can't tell her it's better that way, we're good mates, that's how it should stay. She's proper happy. She's just been offered a job off the back of a blog. She calls him. She tells him. She says the thing is, it will be in the Middle East. George is like, mate, for the sake of your inner peace, tell her you love her. Shark, he's like, don't, 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 he says, wow, George is like, tell her, tell her now, he says, that's exciting, she says, am I doing the right thing, he says, go with your heart, George is like, you're a hypocrite, a month goes, she leaves in a week, he phones her, he says, can we please meet, I really need to speak to you. She says, is everything all right? He says, yeah, just please, can we just meet? She says, of course. It's evening. She says, I'm worried. Are you okay? He says, I love you. Sorry, shit. <laughs> she says, what? He says, I think I'm in love with you, sorry. She says, you're not. He says, I am. She says, you're not. He says, look, it wasn't planned, but I'm in love with you. I really am. She says, no, nah, I'm sorry. I'm in love with another man. I do love you, but it's more like a brother, man. He smiles like his heart is breaking. He's finding it hard to say things and she don't know how long he's been taking. Years in a moment, an age in the space of a phrase. He's frozen. She's Lisa Simpson. He's Ralph Wiggum. <laughs> a VCR clip of her ripping in her. She looks at him. She looks at him like there's plenty more fish in the sea. He looks at her like, I'm not really into that analogy. <laughs> but, but if love is a sea, if it was only for you, I jumped in. And I'm realising I can't swim. Whilst I'm starting to sing, ow, oh, this is hurting, ow. Oh, but, but I deserve it. She says, say something. He says, uh, anything but brother. <laughs> he starts to run. She calls after him, Sharky's like, why are you running? That's not cool. <laughs> he says, I just didn't know what else to do. He's in the corner of the pub. He tells uncle everything. 
uncle's like, you can't go around always holding up your guard. I know you think you're protecting your heart, but life is a contact sport. You will get hit, and there will be times when you feel shit, but if you don't open up, you don't get no light. Trust me, that hurts you way more hard. How do you know where you're going if it's always dark? He says, what about the butterflies and the nerves and the bad things and the hurt? Uncle says, I was watching this documentary about this cage fire. And he said this thing about how nerves and butterflies are fine. They're just a sign that you're alive. You just need to get them to fly in formation. He says, what's that got to do with anything? Uncle says, I don't know. <laughs> I thought it'd help. <laughs> Look, just go talk to her before you go. And you'll never forgive yourself. The night before she leaves, he's walked three times up and down the street. He takes a deep breath, walks up the steps. He thinks, what the fuck, have I lost the plot? She ain't Rachel, I ain't Ross. <laughs> she ain't Bridget Jones, I ain't Barcy. I should go home, she don't need to be saved. George is like, but she might be needing a mate. Think Casablanca, Rick Blaine. Sharky's like, Rick Blaine, you're closer to Rick James. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> So is she. He presses the buzzer. She picks up. She says hi. He's on the sofa. She's put the kettle on. He looks at her housemate. He thinks she must know. Oh no. Don't look at her. <laughs> housemate says, I'll be in my room if you need me. She leaves. He breathes a sigh of relief. He looks at her. She looks at him. He finds a spot on the ceiling, stares at it. He says, whatever I'm feeling, it don't need a name, name. And you don't need to feel the same. It's all right. I just want you to be a part of my life. I love you and that's all I know. And when you're over there, just know you're not alone. I'm here. Phone, email, letter, anything, whatever. He looks down from the ceiling, she looks at him. She says, I love you too. They hug. She says, I'm scared. He says, it's okay to have nerves and butterflies. <laughs> They're just a sign that you're alive. You just need to get them to fly in formation. She says, what does that mean? He says, I don't know. I thought it helped. <laughs> Next day, she's leaving on a jet plane <laughs> he's grieving on some next train <laughs> he don't know when she'll be back again George is like you did the right thing right now I don't feel like a nice thing Sharky's like oi <laughs> chin up or you'll get a hunchback <laughs> you don't want that he gets off the train and he sticks out his chest raises his shoulders, takes a deep breath. He exhales, he smiles. He says, come on, butterflies. Let's try this till we get fucking right. <laughs> oh, thank you for listening. <laughs>